everyone. Um, it's been a while. I'm not really sure how long it's been, but um, I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. And if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope you just had a great week. Um, I hope everybody's getting into this time of year. This is my absolute favorite time of year, the holiday season. It's just so, I don't know, everybody's in just such a great mood and it's so nice outside and um, it was actually cold today, or it is now, in South Carolina. It's 40 degrees. That may be cold to some of you. That may not be cold at all to some of you, but for, here in South Carolina, that's cold. And um, my cousin lives in Minnesota and it's like negative 8 degrees or something there, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure she'd be happy to have that 40 degrees. But anyway, um, I wanted to film a favorites video for you today. I'm going to have mostly makeup, but I do have a scent and a couple jewelry pieces. And um, a lot of these are actually some of my all-time favorites. So I thought I'd throw that in as well. Um, it's not too many things, but um, I just thought it would be a good topic for a video. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the makeup stuff and then I'll move on to the other stuff. So, um, a favorite that's pretty much every month is are these EOS lip balms. Um, I've had a video on these, I've talked about these, everybody knows about them, but this is the, I don't even remember which one this is, summer something, summer fruit breathe, I don't know, but it smells really good and so yeah, everybody knows about these. If you don't know, I'll link somewhere or put it in the bar below my EOS rave video. Um... Let's see. This is a NYX 10 color eyeshadow palette from the Runway collection. And I absolutely love NYX. It's my favorite brand. I think it is a high-end brand without paying the high-end prices. Um, the quality of their makeup is just incredible. I have found maybe two or three things that I didn't like from them. And that was in the single eyeshadows because it had actual chunks of glitter in it. And I don't like that. Um, some people may, it's just personal preference, I don't like that, but, um, the palettes I have found are amazing. And this is Bohemian Rhapsody, and I think this has been in one of my videos before. Um, it's just really pretty colors, very natural, um, super great quality, super great pigmentation. I don't know if you can see that, but, um, it's just really great. I would definitely check out NYX if you haven't, which I'm sure everybody has, but um, go. Go check that out. <laughs> My all-time favorite foundation um, is the Dream Matte Mousse Foundation, and mine is Natural Ivy, I, Ivy, Ivory Light Number 3, and it's just, it comes in like a pot form, kind of like a, a big paint pot from MAC, but um, the fan, uh, the sorry, the texture of this is just really nice. It feels really nice on your face. Um, it doesn't feel like you're wearing a lot, which I hate when foundations feel heavy on your face, cakey. You know, I just really don't like those. So one foundation I found that had the texture of that it may have just been on my face, but it was the um, Victoria's Secret foundation. It felt really heavy. It was a really nice coverage, and I think that may have been why. It was full coverage, and it was really heavy, so I don't even wear that one much, but anyway, if you're looking for a really nice, kind of light foundation, definitely check out the, the mousses from Maybelline. Um, let's see. This. It's kind of a rediscovered favorite, but it's the Hard Candy mini set, and um, this is one of the th first things I ever purchased from Art Hard Candy, um, and it's a great way to try out the brand. Um, if you've never tried it out, definitely try one of these minis. You get a primer. Here, actually, I'll take that out and show you. And the, this whole set I like. Um, you get an eye primer, this little tube, and this will actually last you a long time because you don't need a lot of it. I have to say this primer is good. Um, it doesn't last as long as, like, an Urban Decay primer potion or even the e.l.f., um, uh, eyelid primer. The e.l.f. eyelid primer is amazing. I didn't bring that one with me because I wanted to try out this one more, but, um, it lasts. Today I had my makeup on for five or six hours, and I didn't notice creasing until, like, that last hour, which is, I mean, is pretty decent, um, but, I mean, it's not my favorite. Would I go out and buy the whole tube of it? Probably not, but this, I mean, it's pretty decent. 
Um, then you get two eyeshadows, which look really messy because I've used them a lot. Hold on. This one actually broke, but that was my fault, not the packaging fault. But this is the Hard Candy Duo in... Oh, which one is this? Hold on. High Maintenance. And if you were to go out and buy this set, it would be a duo. It would be like a big thing. But they give you the two shades. And um, they're really pretty. I love them. They're baked, which is... I really like baked shadows. Look at the pigmentation on that. That one is the lighter side. And this one is more of a bronzy gold. So, it's really pretty. Um, definitely check those out. Um, the Hard Candy Duos. That, I have to say those are the only shadows from Hard Candy that I've tried. And I, I love them. So, um, I'm probably going to go out and purchase some more of those. Um, this is fun. I don't wear this a lot. But it is fun. It's the Hard Candy Lash Tinsel. And it's just glitter mascara. And, you know... I don't wear it a lot, but it is fun. If I'm going out, you know, night out on the town, I may put a little on or even something like Halloween or something. I think I did wear this on Halloween, but um, it's fun. It gives you a really pretty sparkle to the eyes, and it stays on a really long time. This is the Hard Candy Take Me Out Liner Eyeliner Pencil, and this is in Abyss. So let's see. It's pretty good pigmentation. Sorry. Um, and it's it's glitter, so if you don't like glitter liners, definitely stay away from these um, because it does have actual glitter in the liner. Um, but it's really pretty. It doesn't have a ton of glitter, so it just kind of gives that sparkle to the eye like I was saying with the lash tinsel. Um, it's really pretty. I like it. And this has come to be one of my favorite mascaras ever. Um, it's the Hard Candy Ginormous Lash Volumizing Mascara. And this one's called Blackout. At first, when I tried this, I didn't like it. Um, I think the formula was too watery. But a few days later, I tried it again, and it had kind of thickened up. And when it did, it's just... It's really nice. It's the, um, the spoolie. Couldn't think of the name, sorry. But, um, it gives you a false lash effect. Um... It's kind of clumpy, the formulation, so you may want to try to scrape it off on the side or even dab it on a, um, a Kleenex or something to get the clumps out. But once you get past that, it's absolutely amazing. I love Hard Candy. Um, a lot of people don't even know that Hard Candy used to be owned by the same company that owns Urban Decay. And I mean, you can kind of see a similarity between the Urban Decay and Hard Candy, so try it out. Um, it's sold exclusively at Walmart and it's really nice. Um, I haven't found a lot that I don't like from it. So I can't get it back in the box, but yeah, try it out. Um, let's see. This is the liner I've been using nonstop and this is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liner. Another company I love, Wet n Wild, has really upped their game. I remember when I was younger, it was one of those cheap, drugstore brands that nobody really liked, but um, it's really up their game. They have really up their game, sorry. And that's the top one right here is the Wet n Wild. That's the hard candy. But it really great. This is a wonderful waterline liner. It stays on. It has great staying power. It doesn't smudge, doesn't flake, anything, you know, like that. But um and this one is in black is black. And I think I got this on sale for 99 cents. I couldn't believe it. But it's really great. Um, great Lash Mascara. Everybody knows about the Maybelline Great Lash. A lot of people don't like this. I'm really kind of surprised because I love it. Um, I've been using it for seven years now. Six or seven years. And it has been a great help to my lashes. So um, it's always in my makeup collection. I always have one of these. I want to try the... Uh, Lots of lashes. I haven't tried that yet, which is kind of surprising. Um, Elf Eyelash Curler. One dollar. Can't go wrong. It works amazingly. It, uh, really sturdy. I thought, you know, it may break as soon as I get it. 
you know, because it's a dollar. But it's really sturdy, and I love this thing. Um, e.l.f. Highlighting Blush. This is in Gotta Glow. I use this every day. It's a really pretty creamy yellow. It's not white, but, um... It just has, it gives you the most beautiful glow. I absolutely love it. And I have a couple brushes that I wanted to show. This is the e.l.f. blush brush. Um, I absolutely love this to apply that highlighter. I uh, take it on one side and just apply it under my eyes and down my nose, a little on the cupid's bow. And sometimes I'll even use it on the, uh, under, under the eyebrow, on the eyebrow bone. Absolutely love this brush. I think I paid $3 for it. Definitely a good investment. And then this is one of the e.l.f. Um, essential brushes, which are actually pretty decent um, crease brush. And this fits perfectly into the crease of my eye because of my eye shape. Um, love it. Great quality. I haven't had a problem with it. Um, definitely check that out. And this was a dollar, so... Okay, now onto the scent. This is kind of a rediscovered scent. I've had this for a while. I forgot that I had it. I haven't used it. And some people are not going to like this. Um, I know there's mixed feelings about it, but this is the Abercrombie & Fitch Classic. And I know some people absolutely hate the smell of Abercrombie and Hollister, but they think it's really strong. But I, I love it, and uh, I just think it smells so good. You definitely don't need a lot of it, though, so, like, one spritz and you're good. But, um, that is definitely one of my favorites. Another one that I can't find right now, um, it's the American Eagle Bohemian, I think it is, and it just has this amazing flowery scent. So, if you don't like flowery scents, definitely don't get that one, but it just smells so good. Okay, now on to the jewelry that I've been loving. This is a bracelet from Forever 21, and I just love all the colors around it. It's great. It goes with any outfit because of all the colors it has on it. And then I have these two. They're wooden bangles, and I think I got these from Charlotte Russe, I think. But I love pairing these two together because I think the, the wood kind of offsets the bright, playful, you know. So if you're going for more of a toned down look still want the color I think the wood is really good to add into it and I just I love the combination I love the natural look of these the wood um, I'm very bohemian my style is very bohemian um, so I love all the natural textures and natural colors the woods and all that stuff I think it's really pretty and then one of my all-time favorite necklaces I found this at Rue 21, I think, actually. Yeah, Rue 21. And it's my elephant necklace. And I love it. It's so cute. And it's actually really big. Um, inside of my palm, really. I am into huge earrings, huge necklaces. That's totally me. I would rather wear a piece of jewelry like this than a diamond necklace. And that's just... It's just my personal preference. But um, I just... I love it. I think it's so adorable. So cute. And then one more. Let me see if I have it right here. Yeah. If I can get it. And this is my owl necklace. And I got this at Rue 21 as well. Isn't it cute? It's got all these pretty funky colors. I love owls. I love owls. Everything I have is owl. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of home decor stuff that's owl. But it's so cute and so adorable. But, um... So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I think this video may be a little bit too long. But, um, I hope everybody enjoyed. And thanks for y'all. What, whatever. Thanks for watching. <laughs>